Hey everyone, Johnny Man here and welcome back to my Championship Manager 2001-2002 save with Manchester City. Today is episode 8 in the series and obviously we are the third season in charge. Currently we sit 5th in the table and uh, we are just 10 games away now from the end of the season, believe it or not. Yes, time has flown when you are having fun. We're also still competing in the FA Cup, playing the quarterfinal today in today's episode up against Birmingham City at a home. Uh, they also play in the Premier League. Today's episode, we take on Fulham. High high flying leads who are spending a crap ton of money to try and catch up with the rest of us. And then Middlesbrough as well, led by their new signing, Peter Crouch, formerly, of course, of us. All right, so um, good news, good news, good news, good news. To start the episode, we have Endaya back, and we also have Tonton Zulu Makoko is also back. And obviously, we got Isaac Okoronko that signed for us in the last episode, despite his very poor poor performance so Chiotas played sorry um Azakison played crap last time out so I'm gonna hand the reins back to Chiotas for possibly the rest of the season depending on how well he can do so um today's episode uh first game up against uh Fulham at home they are 18th in the table last time we played a team that 18th we lost 3-1 and that was Leicester City so we're gonna try and put that result behind us um all right so obviously victory uh play left back Duff at center sorry right back and then we're gonna do Isaac Okoranko Philly Mexis and then Hassan and Dyer, like a trifecta. I mean, that's a that's a tough defense. You don't want to face those guys at the heart of our defense. No, sir. No, sir. They are that. That's a force. That is a force right there. And I'm privileged to manage them right now. So midfield. Now we have lost Stephen Pearson. Unfortunately, he's going to be out for a month of a groin strain. So put that disappointment aside. And what we're going to do is we are going to start. I didn't think about this today. Uh, let's do Karlstrom. We'll do Karlstrom, we'll do Mark Kerr, and we'll do Tantan Zulu Makoko with Tomadira and Maxime Sazoko leading the line. So, with that in mind as well, we know Maxime likes to play on the left, so we'll do that. All right, so on the bench today is Ackerson, obviously. We'll do uh, uh, O'Callaghan, John Welsh. Actually, should we do Welsh? And then O'Callaghan? Uh, O'Callaghan Welsh. Uh, and then we'll do midfield backup of. Well, Farnerud is definitely going to be on the bench. His form has been exceptional this half of the season. Uh, and then we'll guess we'll do London to round things off. All right, so let's get into today's game. I want to see goals. I want to see fun. And I want to see us keep a clean sheet. More importantly, a clean sheet, to be honest with you. It's been too long since uh, we kept... Tomadira gets a goal. Fan. That, that was my next line. I was going to talk about Tomadira and the fact he hasn't scored many goals. We conceded. <laughs> But anyway, Tomadira gets a goal. Maxim gets a goal now with 2-1 up. All things are well in the world. So Tomadira hasn't scored goals for fun this year. And it's been very disappointing. Um, as you can see from the history, he scored 14, 19, and now he's only on 8. Now, he has been hampered by injuries this season, to be fair, in his defense. Um, however, he hasn't formed that dream partnership of the Zolko and Madeira like I would have hoped. It hasn't been... It's just, It just hasn't worked so far. I think it will work in the end. I just don't think... It'll work this season. Maybe next season, maybe after a break and getting fully fit again. Maxim scores, by the way, too, makes it 3 1. If you missed it. Um, but um, yeah, things are going well today. 3 1 up. Um, disappointing to concede that. It's a really, really. I mean, I just want a clean sheet. I wanted to stop conceding so many goals. Maxim gets a hat trick for a halftime. Easy peasy for this gentleman, isn't it? Look, for 29 goals a season for him. Uh, unstoppable force. Um, Chiotas on the plus hand has come back in the team and he's got a 9 out of 10. So he's doing a good job back there. And if he can continue to churn out good performances like that, it's going to be hard to drop him again after giving him the opportunity to nod over as Ackerson. All right. Um, so we're 4 1 up. We're not going to lose this game, are we? Um, of course, touch wood, touch wood, touch wood. All right. So uh, let's make some changes, freshen some legs up out there. I'm just delighted to see Tomade back on the score sheet. That is, that has made my day, honestly. Um, Maxim, take a Maxim. Let's put Farn Rude on. Uh, let's bring off Tonton Zula for Jonas London. Good to see him back as well. He came back from uh, African Nation duty. And Ansan and Dyer also as well. Playing in the holding midfield world. He's got a 9 out of 10. Doing well today. Okoranko is much improved too with a 7. Uh, in the last episode, he had like a 5, I think it was. It wasn't a good debut for the um, Nigerian. I had to think about where he was from then, but he's Nigerian. Uh, all right, so just got to see out this game now. 
Let's look at the league table real quick. Give a give an uh, like give a live eye update. Um, so with this results uh, results in play right now, we go still fifth in the table, which is good. Equal on games finally with everyone. Um, catching up behind us though, Tottenham three points, uh, Leeds four points, Liverpool six points now. Yeah, it's unlikely Liverpool going to catch us. So it's going to be anywhere between. Oh, we're catching up with uh, Arsenal though. As long as if Arsenal lose, we could catch them up. But that's a big ass because we know how good this Arsenal team is. All right, and Shevchenko apparently is world class talent. That's nothing really, not really newsworthy, is it? It's like saying, "Oh, Leon Messi, he's good, isn't he?" Yeah, it's like running a headline like that. It's a pointless, pointless news cycle. All right, um, Donovan's given a uh, work permit, so welcome to the team, Landon Donovan, another Championship manager, two thousand, two thousand one legend, and it's a new transfer record too, nine and a half million pounds. So a lot of money spent on him. I expect a decent return. He is injured, however. He's going to be out a few days with strained neck. Uh, will not play today, unfortunately. Uh, and we're without O'Callaghan as well. He is cup-tied. Uh, lucky enough, we've got a million options there, so I'm not terribly worried about that. Um, disappointing, though. I was hoping to see Landon early on here. Um, but it's good to have him in the squad. It really is. Let's take a look at this guy a little bit more in detail. Uh, main attributes here are pace, technique, acceleration, um, so obviously very smart player, very, very um, sorry, fast player. Um, strength is only 12. Uh, set pieces, um, 15. Flair, 16. Creativity, whereas that, 16. That's good. Termination, 17. Finishing is excellent at 16. Um, off the ball movement, 15, which is great. Passing, 17. Um, just a really talented player. Fantastic, fantastic young, talented player. Happy to have him on board and... Um, Hopefully, we'll get the best of him this season. All right, so condition of players. Check that before we start this game up against Birmingham at home. Um, I want I want to win the FA Cup this year. I've already make, made a declaration. I wanted the cup run. I wanted to get into Europe. And uh, these, these are two ways, playing well in the league and, and winning the cup competition. All right, so uh, Tomodura gets his second goal in two games now. So it looks like he's starting to pick his form back up again, which is excellent news. Bad news for everyone else. Good news for us. And uh, Maxim Zelko get himself another goal. Why not? Just keep scoring for fun, don't you? It's just uh, too easy. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, Birmingham squad real quick. Uh, led by James Beattie and Andy Johnson. You know what? That would have been a pretty interesting partnership back in the day. James, an on-form fit and not fat James Beattie and a non-injured Andy Johnson. That would have been a pretty dynamic partnership. Uh, actually, that would have been pretty interesting to watch. I guess you could say that it was a very similar partnership with BT and Brett Ormrod or Marion Pahars. Marion Pahars is always injured. But I think Andy Johnson and BT would be would have been a lot of fun. Um, with me gabbling on about James BT, we're now in the 84th minute of the game and we're going to see out this win. This is not going to be a problem. Um, let's bring off Mark Kerr. Let's bring on London. Let's bring on Farnrood for Madeira. Uh, let's also bring off Welsh for Endaya. And it looks like as well, we're going to keep a clean sheet. A first clean sheet in quite some time as, as well. Yep, clean sheet. 9 out of 10 performance for um, Dionis. Uh, Tonton's got a 9 out of 10 too with his two assists today. So with that result, we now progress into the next stage of the FA Cup. All right, so. Uh, sorry about that, I had to... Do a little bit of a jump cut because I was coughing. Now I'm sick. I am still getting over it. Uh, we're going to push through though. And we're going to enjoy ourselves this episode. i got a feeling that it's going to be a good episode for everyone involved. And hey, in the last couple of episodes I was calling for him. Why hasn't he been caught up to the Belarus national squad? And while he's finally going to get his chance, uh, he's been called up finally. And he's going to play Macedonia. Uh, take a look at the Belarus squad actually. They usually have some really talented players in there. Uh, Roman... Uh, Vasiliuk, he's not bad, is he? If I had it, 2.4 million pounds too. It could be an interesting little buy in the future if I'm looking for a striker again. Um, this guy too, uh, Sergei Nikiforenko. He got himself a few goals internationally. He has only 18 goals and 20 caps. That's a that's a pretty good record. 22 assists as well a couple of seasons ago for Werder Bremen. Yeah, this guy's a bit special too. Add him to the shortlist. Put him on the shortlist. Is he good? Put him on the shortlist. This man said for everything, to be honest. Uh, all right, so moving on. We're playing Arsenal in the FA Cup semi-final. 
get flashbacks now. We played them in the League Cup a few years ago. Didn't end well for us. All right, so. Hagen, two million. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Not for sale. All right, so here we go. Let's keep moving forward. Who we got next? So we got Leeds United away from home. That's a very tough game. Really is a tough game. They are seven from the play ball, two positions below us. Landon's back to full training now, which means he's going to get some action. And just in time, too, because Maxim has gone out for a week of a chest injury. Uh, risk, nope. Not for sale there. Moving on. So up against Leeds, it looks like Landon Donovan will make his debut today. And we're going to rely heavily on the new partnership, I guess, of uh, Tomadira and um, Landon Donovan. Where is he? There he is. All right, and obviously we lost Maxim for today's game. That's a huge, huge blow. A uh, 30 goal a season striker is always going to be a tough to replace. But I have uh, I have faith uh, in uh, Landon and Toe. Obviously Toe definitely after finding this form again. He's now got a couple get a couple of goals in a row, and I'm interested to see how well he links up with Landon. But uh, we can see it early, which isn't good news, is it? Uh, Mark Viduka get himself his fifth goal of the season. He hasn't played much this season, but look at things. He's got a sixth goal of the season now for Mark Viduka. Now we've got to get goal back here in the first half. Alas, it's going to be a very rough day. Um, Carlstrom's only got 5 out of 10. Victory's on a 5 out of 10. That's not good, is it? Um, I'm really am lacking options of a spare left back. So Jamie Victory just has to keep playing through poor performances like this. And at the back, it's been absolutely diabolical. Duff, Victory have been terrible. Carlstrom's got a 5 out of 10. Church is on a 6. 2-0 um, down. Not good, is it? Um, I'm going to make a change. Bruno Callaghan. He's been chomping at the bit for a, for a start. My coaches have told him I should reward him. I want to give him a shot today. Um, let's also bring off Kim Karlström. He's been terrible uh, for Alexander Farnoon. Let's move Landon Donovan back into midfield. Not really a midfielder, but I feel like I need to go for it. Because I can't go down without a fight. It's just not in me. All right, so... Um, 15 minutes in the second half, 20 minutes in the second half, not much is happening for us in our favor. And it looks like this is going to end up in defeat. Not, we're not going to get back in this game, unfortunately. A little too late to make any extra changes as well. Uh, all right. Yeah, this is not, this is not going to be our day, unfortunately. It's okay. You can have these days every once in a while. Um... We did well, though. I mean, plenty of shots on goal. We just kind of found the back of the net, which is very, very unlike us. We usually, usually score lots of goals. All right, so we're putting that, we're putting that game behind us. Um, Pearson's back to light training now, which is good news. Uh, we know he's an important player for us. He's had a really good season. And uh, next up on the all-fixed list, we have Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough, okay. Led by, of course, Peter Crouch, who uh, signed for them last episode round. All right, so Maxim um, is available uh, for the next game, which is pleasing stuff because we need him. We need him. He scores plenty of goals. Uh, Mads Jorgensen is going to be out three weeks. Oh, no, what should I do? How am I going to survive without Mads Jorgensen? Um, Cornelius and Zaxelman all play for Sweden. Um, Richard Sadlier made uh, played full international debut for Ireland as well. Got a 2-2 draw, played for well our reserve team. Um, Mark Kerr, Paul Ritchie plays for Scotland in a friendly defeat by Switzerland. Those neutral bastards. Um, just kidding. I love sweet. I love Switzerland. Fantastic country. Um, moving on. All right, so Farnwood. Oh, stop with these crap bits. He's not. He's worth way more than that. You know that. I know that. Stop wasting my time. Um, all right, just keep moving here. Delighted performance. No shits. Uh, perfect. Reject that. Yeah, this is pretty much how you play Championship Manager, everyone. There you go. Click, 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 click. Nope, nope, nope. Click, 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 click. That's exactly how you play Championship Manager, everyone. Uh, of course, probably giving it a bad name now. Of course, I'm only joking. I know it's a lot. A lot. Of, it's one of the most in-depth and quality football management games that's ever been created. Definitely number one on a top ten list, which you may see in the near future. Who knows? All right. Um, so changes are going to have to be made. Maxim. Go straight back in the side. That's no doubt about that. Tomadira, what do we do with you? Because got a couple of goals in a row. Had your chance to start up top against Leeds and you you floundered. Uh, Alexander Farnerud, um has done well when he has started for us. But I've got to play London because I have that stupid Bosman ruling thing. So we've got to, we've got to uh, 
have him on the bench. Could put there. So London. Carlstrom, we know, was very poor the last couple of games. Call me crazy. We'll play Landon Donovan as an attacking midfielder today. And we can't use him because there's only four non-EU players in the squad. I forgot about that rule, didn't I? Crap. Don't know who to drop him. Could drop Isaac Okoronko. Damn, I really want to use my new toy as well, which is Landon Donovan. Um, all right, dilemma, dilemma, dilemma. All right, let's. All right. I guess we'll not play Ocaranco today. All right. Uh, disappointing. I didn't think about that, but we're still going to need him in the squad. I'll rotate it out the best I can. I don't want to lose them. Um, Fanu goes back to the bench naturally, and um, put in Ericsson. Why not? All right, perfect. We're not perfect, but it's going to have to do. So, um, San Andaya and Nexis go back together there. John Welsh plays back in front of him again. Um, again, I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest with you. Uh, we still concede far too many goals with that partnership, though, that trio. And I was hoping to play Ocaronco and Dyer and Mexis at the heart of our defense, but it wasn't meant to be right now. So, Sezoko gets a goal, so he's rewarded. My faith. Uh, what was it? Faith is no faith is about it. He's an automatic starter. There's Tonson Zulu Makoko get himself another goal from midfield. Uh, yep, this guy's grown leaps and bounds this season. He's gonna be a big important player for the next season when he gets uh, when he grows and develops a bit more. Um, Liv uh, Middlesbrough haven't had a shot. I can say Liverpool. Middlesbrough haven't had a shot yet on a goal. Um, yeah, just, just it's been easy so far. Not been a problem at all. Of course, Peter Crouch scores. Of course. <laughs> Ah, uh, you, you you could have you could have you could have predicted that before we started the game so that Peter Crouch would score um, against us. It just it just happens to be the way it goes. And Tomido getting a goal too, which is excellent news. Uh, Philippe makes a struggling. Let's bring on. Oh, could play Bruno Callaghan, Landon. So got a seven out of ten. Let's let's push Landon at top for Maxim. Give Maxim a little bit of a break coming back from injury. Um, put him far in midfield. All right, so uh, push Landon up top. I'm desperate for Landon Donovan to do well. So I do really like him as a talent effort man in a championship manager. Very, very talented individual. All right, uh, 15 minutes of the going. This game three went up. Results all but sealed. I'm just looking for good individual displays now. Uh, John Welsh got a nine. Returning to the team today. Tanton does well with a nine. Toe's got a 9, Maxim's got a 9. A um, couple of 8s hanging around there and a couple of 7s too. But overall, um, it's been a good display today. It's been a really good display. Jamie Victory getting a goal late on there too. I missed that one. 86th minute on the clock. Um, that's where the result. We're now on 6th place in the table. 5 points clear of Tottenham. Um, Arsenal dropped a few spots now. And uh, it's got really tight at the top, hasn't it, really? Between us, Chelsea, Leeds and Arsenal to try and fight uh, for the uh, Champions League spots. All right, so on 18 minutes on this episode. Again, uh, you guys should probably be aware of this, but I, I usually try and keep these around a... Um, yeah, I usually try and keep these around like a 20-minute mark. Uh, so up against Arsenal now in the FA Cup semi-final. And it's a huge game. It's a huge game for us because if we win here, we go to the final of the FA Cup. Obviously, that's a bit. Of a <coughs> Excuse me. Obviously, that's a fantastic achievement for the team. Um, so apparently, Maxim has won the English Players Player of the Year award. So congratulations, Maxim! Excellent, you deserve it. You absolutely freaking deserve it. Look at these stats: twenty-eight goals in thirty appearances in the Premier League. In your Premier League debut season, 14 assists, 11 man of the match awards, 8.57 rating. This guy is un freaking believable. And he acknowledged me, which is good. I appreciate that. I acknowledge you. Um, English Premier League division select. Uh, Mike Duff got into the team as a right midfielder. Maxim Marker was in there as well. Probably still once in a way. Uh, of course, I'm going to praise him. We've got to build up the praise. He has been. Unbelievable, uh, Alessandro. Did I want you at some point? I think I did. Scout him. Someone put a bid in for him, so I'll scout him. Uh, see what's going on. See if he's turned into a, a great player. All right, so um, moving forward, moving forward. 
Again, this episode's going to be longer today. I've hit that 20 minute mark right now. All right. Okoronko has been selected for Nigeria, Makoko, and Dyer. Invitation into Toto Cup. Freaking why not? Just this is an insurance policy. Uh, we're likely to be the highest placed team uh, to accept that invitation. Um, so we'll uh, we'll do it. And just in case everything falls flat at the end of the season, it's away into Europe. What can I say? All right, so here we are away at Arsenal. Uh, I'm pretty sure the rules still apply as far as foreign players, but we'll try and be cheeky and uh, put him in there. Pearson's back, so that makes my job a little more difficult now. Um, not really, actually. I could just play Pearson, so Landon. Yeah, we'll do that. Pearson straight back in the side. Uh, everyone's 100%. Everything looks good. Good solid team that Isaac Okoronko is on the bench today too, so we can change things up if necessary. So we'll try and keep momentum forward here against that Middlesbrough game. Go into this one. Stephen Pearson gets in there. Fantastic. Go Come on. Playing at uh, Leicester City, apparently. apparently. Oh, yeah, I remember. We used to meet halfway. You used to pick a ground halfway in between you, so it wouldn't be an unfair advantage. Uh, obviously, nowadays, they played at Wembley. Same thing. Not really halfway, though. Um, but, yeah, just like this. I mean, Filbert Street... Wasn't the prettiest ground in the world. Wasn't the biggest either. Freaking Arsenal have free one up all of a sudden. It's been an explosive start to this cup tie. <sighs> Nicky Butts going a penalty. Never thought I'd say that. Uh, Ray Parler getting a goal. It's only Ray Parler. Um, Dennis Bergkamp getting a goal too. He's an absolute legend. We know about him. Still looks good in this game, doesn't he? Um, so even, but we conceded three goals stupidly. Uh, Welsh Madeira was struggling. All right, so let's move in Dyer to hold a midfield. Let's bring off Welsh. Uh, let's bring Okoronko on. Um, all right, cool. Make those changes. Obviously, this is a cup tie, so we've got nothing to lose. So I will throw caution to the wind in the second half if things don't turn around quickly. They are playing the full strength team too, aren't they? Yeah. Generally speaking, it's the full strength team. All right, so uh, not much time left to go. So I'm as for caution to the wind here. Uh, make a change. Uh, Going to bring off Tonton, Zulu, Makoko. Uh, do this. Mark her. Uh, switch of Endaya. Endaya can come off for Farnru because he's got more goals this season in London. That's the only thing I'm basing it off, to be honest with you. And then we'll switch to direct football. Because why not? Not go, I've got much to lose, so let's go direct. All right. Come on, boys. 12 minutes ago. Let's see if we can pull out an unbelievable escape here. Get in there, Stephen Pearson. Here we go. Five minutes left to go. Come on, boys. Come on. One more goal. Come on. Oh, it's narrowly missed out at the end. And we were, you could argue we were the better side in this game as well. Maxim Tzolko got man of the match. Uh, obviously a, a key player for us today. Um, Stephen Pearson doing well. Getting a couple of goals back from uh, back from his injury. All right. So unfortunately, FA Cup dream is over for at least this season. Um, and that's over for the episode as well. Um, so looking ahead. Uh, running for the Premier League, winning seven games away now from the end of the season. Um, it's been a really good season so far, and it's been an exciting end by the look of things. Unfortunately, we couldn't cap it off with an FA Cup final appearance. That would have been fantastic. Um, but we do have some pretty big games coming up in the next episode, which will be Arsenal, um, Everton. We still have Man United have to play as well. Uh, and Newcastle too, they're a very tough team. They're going to finish second this season. So the next episode is going to be a very, very tough episode for us. Arsenal, who obviously just beat us, uh, they're uh, fifth in the table. Right now, one spot below us. Um, Newcastle is second and went away second, so they're going to finish second place. Uh, and then Everton as well. They're always a tough team to play, 15th in the table. And then after that, we've got Birmingham, Bolton, Maynard and Charlton. And scene's done. So naturally, uh, out of all the cup competitions now, Europe is still on the cards. we still got to try and finish high as possible. Regardless of what happened, it's a much better performance this season overall. Uh, I'm excited to see how we're going to finish this. Uh, I'm confident uh, with a little bit of luck, 
we'll be playing in Europe next season. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, remember to hit like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos from me. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well so you know when these videos go live and also when I start live streaming that those plans are going to be happening in the very near future uh but thank you guys so much i appreciate all the support in the community as well big thumbs up to everyone out there who have liked and supported and commented on the videos and uh, i'll see you guys in the next part goodbye everyone Bye.